There's been some great new innovations over the last couple of years in hydroponics and especially in uh, plant reproduction. So in the past when you wanted to like reproduce a plant, uh, what you had to do is take a cutting and put in some rooting hormone and put it in some soil and, and, and do three times as many as you think you would like because you're gonna end up losing about two thirds of the plants. They're just not gonna survive very well. So there's some, some really cool new innovations that have come out. And one of those is a cloning system. That's what this is. This is a hydroponic cloning system. Excuse me. And what it does is you can take cuttings of plants, you can put them in here, and instead of putting them in soil, we actually get them to root in water. And so we're gonna we're gonna fill this reservoir up with water and we're gonna put our cuttings into these little styrofoam uh, rings and it will hold the plants down into the water and then they will root very, very quickly. And we've we've done this uh, the last couple of months and experimented with a little bit, and it's amazing how quickly they take. So what you do is you you, you take the, the top off here. And there's just all these, there's like 20 little styrofoam rings that you can put different plants into. You don't have to do all the same thing at the same time. Now, down inside the container here, you've got a pump that will recirculate the water, so it'll push the water around, so the water never stands stagnant, it's, it's moving all the time. And so the pump just kind of sticks down there to the bottom. But there's also a, an air stone, so we've got an air pump as well that's attached to it. And the air pump pushes air into the air stone, and the air stone diffuses the air out so it, so it bubbles. And so there's, there's constant aeration of the water and constant movement of the water between the pump and the air stone, so it keeps the water moving all the time. And as the plants, uh, the, the stems are down into the water and encourages them to root and they will root like crazy in just just a short amount of time. So uh, what you want to do, I'll, I'll show you, we've got, we've got a couple little samples we can do, but uh, about six weeks ago we did some basil plants and the basil plants were just old, woody, old growth. It, it was probably the worst places where we could make cuts to, 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 to root these. And so we took the basil and we, we cut them about three to four inches long and then put them into the little styrofoam rings and, and put the stems down into the water. And within a week, they had one inch long roots on them. So it didn't take very long at all. And uh, we left them in there for about two weeks until they built a pretty good sized root system, transplanted them into potting soil. And now these guys will be ready to transplant outside when the time comes. So we took some plants from this fall, brought them inside, uh, took cuttings off of them, multiplied them, and then we'll be able to put them outside when the, when the weather's nice again as well too. So so what we could do is, is we could take like these uh, Christmas cactus and we, we rooted these the traditional way with little rooting cubes and a little bit of rooting hormone and so now it's got it's got roots that are just barely starting to come out of this out of this little uh, soil pellet but uh, the way we would root these is we would take a cutting off and I'm just gonna break it off right there right where that nodule is and we can take our Christmas cactus and you would gently take your cutting and attach it to the styrofoam, uh, the styrofoam disc, just like that. And it will hold it in place without damaging it. And then this will be probably just, just long enough to get down into the water when we get the water down in there. So we'll put it in the disc, place it into our cloning chamber. We can do 20 plants at the same time. Like I said, you can do different things. We could do, you know, two rows of Christmas cactus, two rows of basil, and a couple geraniums if we wanted to. So you can put different things in here. And then fill the reservoir up to where it's supposed to go. Got a little bit of rooting hormone that, uh, and, and a mild fertilizer you can put in the water to feed the plants as they get going. Uh, fill it up with water, turn the pump on, and that's it. And they will root all by themselves. So very simple, very easy to do to take some of your cuttings off of your, your precious geraniums that you grew during the summer that you wanted to keep over. Um, you can do house plants. You can do all kinds of different things. One of the house plants that we've done, uh, we, we did these just a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is a, a goldfish plant and we took cuttings off. It was big. It was overgrown. We just took cuttings off of it and rooted them in here. And so now we, end up, we ended up having 20 
new baby uh, goldfish plants instead of just one big overgrown one. So we've been able to propagate the plant with our cloning system very, very easily in a really short amount of time. And basically all you got to do is put them in there and then you want to put an artificial light over the top of them. So the plants still need light even though uh, we've got them in the cloning system. So you want to have uh, full spectrum light over the top of your cloning system as well too. And this isn't a cloning system. This is a, a hydroponic system that doesn't have a pump or it doesn't have a, a, an air stone with it. This is one you can do just on its own. It's, it's freestanding and you don't have to have any electricity to get it to, to work. It doesn't work great for flowering or fruiting plants, but it works great for leafy greens. So if you want to grow some lettuces or spinach or you know, any type of leafy greens inside, you can do it very simply with this and it's called a salad box and it's a hydroponic system. All you need is just a little bit of growing media to put in there and then whatever plants you want to grow and you can grow them hydroponically inside with a light system and you don't even need any electricity to make this work. Of course you need electricity for the light to work but uh, full spectrum light bulb to give them all the light that they need because even though you put it in a window the sunlight coming in just isn't enough to keep those plants uh, looking and performing at their best so you've got to use some sort of artificial light. So whether you're doing a hydroponic system inside like the salad box and we have some full size hydroponic systems available here at Anderson's or if you're doing the cloning you need to have that artificial light to keep those plants healthy and growing properly so they can develop those roots that they need to transplant them into soil later on. So very easy, very simple, a lot of fun to do to uh, reproduce, propagate your own plants with a cloning system just like this one.